when you think about making a vaccine, this probably isn't what you had in mind. This soupy concoction is being made in Thailand to combat COVID-19. And the key ingredient, tobacco plants. So it takes only 10 days for us to produce a prototype and another like no more than three weeks to test whether that prototype work or not. Like for example, right now we already work on the Omicron strains already. We have the prototype and we're testing it right now. The low nicotine tobacco isn't the kind used in cigarettes. The harvested leaves act as a host to produce proteins which mimic the COVID-19 virus. They're blended and the protein is extracted. The resulting vaccine stimulates antibodies, which our bodies can use to fight coronavirus in the future. COVID-19 is not going to be the last one, right? We're going to have so many emerging diseases. And um, if we can develop the vaccine ourselves, then we can have like, um, um, we don't have to rely on the vaccine from other countries. The clinical trials are still ongoing, so growing conditions are tightly controlled. If successful, this facility could produce 60 million plant-based COVID vaccines a year, the first of its kind in Asia. The benefit of these tobacco plants, particularly for low-income countries, is you can grow them almost anywhere. You don't have to have a fancy lab. And it takes just one month to turn them from a seed into a vaccine. Even if it all goes to plan, the earliest the vaccine will be ready is late next year. But once perfected, this tobacco-based technology is adaptable. We can use it to produce other drugs. So we can use it to produce anti-cancer, anti-rabies, anti-venoms, and those we will focus on more like tropical diseases that, that normally um, you know, multinational pharmaceutical company might not be interested in. These little plants are providing a growing number of opportunities, helping countries like Thailand to develop their own weapons to fight deadly diseases. Siobhan Robbins, Sky News, Bangkok.